Hi guys, how are you today? Time to talk housewives, specifically real housewives of Potomac. <laughs> It is, it's insane, people. It's absolutely insane. So after last night, after Pastor Jamal had what I call a nervous breakdown on Instagram, it just sent off a shitstorm of chaos. It really, really has. Uh, everybody's taking to social media to get their point across. Now, there's this one um, message in particular that, Dozens of people have sent me to ask me, is there any truth to this? And what do I know about this? It's a simple posting. Okay, so I'm going to read it and tell you what I think of it, of it. But right away, I notice it says, G. Sherry Riley. Now, I know for a fact, Monique's best friend is Riley. How do I know that? Because she reached out to me one time. Uh, be, when I put up the wrong picture of Gigi, she reached out to me and said, that's not Gigi, that's me, I'm Monique's best friend. Okay, so I had got all that cleared up. So right away, that's what I noticed, like, Riley, why is she posting something about Gigi? Okay, so there, right away, that's what I noticed. Now, let's get into this um, posting. It's supposedly talking to someone named Virginia Haskins, and it reads as such. I never spoke to Giselle. I did, however, speak to a former producer who I was cool with. I never said the baby wasn't Chris's, but the trainer story was true. I actually never said that she cheated with the trainer, but I did tell Chris that the trainer should be fired because he could be a problem. Me and Chris actually had that conversation months, ago, months before Monique and I stopped being friends. It wasn't until she got pregnant that I'm figuring Chris told Monique about our conversation. I'm guessing it was bothering him about the trainer. See, what people don't know is that Chris told me he already had suspicions about them for whatever reason. He also told me to not tell Monique that he and I spoke. I'm guessing the baby coming triggered him triggered something in him, which made him tell her whatever. I still don't know what he told her because she and I never had that conversation about it. However, my intent was not to break them up, but to save them at the time. Had I not said anything, there's no telling what could have transpired. I felt like she was halfway out the door. Lesson learned. Now, right away, I thought, this is Gigi. This is Gigi writing this letter or posting. It's not even a letter. And not only is Gigi writing this posting, Gigi is trying to clear her name, okay? Because she's saying in this posting, I never said that the baby was the trainer. She, yes, the hell you did. Okay, Gigi, I blame all of this on Jamal because he's making everybody think that it's okay to go on social media, lose your damn mind, and then lie, <laughs> It's the pastor's fault, okay? You're supposed to be setting an example. Instead, you have set off a firestorm of crazies, okay? This is Gigi trying to clear her name. And since it's obvious that they didn't want her to come on the reunion, now she thinks she could just post crazy stuff to clear her name. And we're not falling for it. This is you, Gigi. I know it's you. No one can tell me anything different. This is you. And not only is it you, you're trying to act like, oh, I tried to save this relationship. You forgot the part about how you were flirting with her man. Yes. Remember you were coming on to Chris? I mean, wh wh why isn't that in the posting? Ch no, mm -mm. Pastor Jamal, this is your fault. This is your fault. You're making everyone think it's okay to come on social media, lose their mind, and then lie. <laughs> It's ridiculous, okay? What kind of example are you setting here? Now, listen, not only is that, it's all kind of rumors going around. There's rumors that uh, Pastor Jamal was asked to step down. Oh, my God. I believe it. Listen, if you want to run a respectable church, you cannot have him as the pastor. I'm not even going to go in on him and call him, you know, a sleazy, cheating liar. I'm not going to do that. I'm just saying you can't have your pastor on a reality TV show, not only a, a reality TV show, a reality TV show where people are pulling off wigs. This is not a good look.
look, okay? And then it just triggered off all kind of stuff. I am not surprised. I believe the rumors that they asked him to step down. My only problem is, why didn't you just kick him the hell out? <laughs> Why ask him, this might be a nice time for you to step down? Mm -mm -mm. He would have came to the office. Everything would have been packed up. I'd had guards at the door informing him, you no longer work here. And by the way, uh, your stuff is in the back. You know, I will put it at the back door. Mm, play. He needs to go. Do I believe this rumor? Yes, I do. Do I believe this was Gigi that wrote this letter? I do. Do I think maybe perhaps Riley posted it? Yeah, I do. Because you're not going to sit up there and lie on my best friend. Okay, and I don't say nothing about it. Now, I'm sure Monique said to Riley, don't say anything. Stay out of the public. I got it. I got my binder. Uh, season two's come. I mean, part two of the reunion's coming up. So don't say nothing. But you know how best friends are. Mm -mm. Over my dead body. Is anybody going to think that Gigi is innocent in all of this. And look what this, you know, B is saying now. I believe that Riley posted it. I really, really do. And do I blame her? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Gigi, it's over, okay? You've been exposed for being a lying, cheating friend that you are. You went to the producers, st staged a plan with that no good Giselle to make Monique look bad, make everyone think that that baby isn't Chris's baby and that she is having some kind of relationship with the trainer. Hello. Remember I said yesterday, Michelle Obama always say, when they go low, we go high. When they go low, some people roll right into the gutter and it looks like Gigi happens to be one of them. Now, this is just all my opinion on what I'm thinking, but you know what? People shouldn't have asked me what I thought. I wouldn't have said anything, but I had a lot, a lot of people ask me what I thought. This is Gigi trying to clear her name, trying to not look as bad as she's looking. Because when you go after your good friend's man, first of all, she let you stay there. She shouldn't have even did that. But that she, that she did that from the kindness of her heart. And then you try to go after her man. And now you're pushing these trainer rumors. What kind of... Fr I'm glad... Monique kicked your ass out because that's where you're supposed to be on the damn street. Get out of here with that nonsense, okay? You are the reason all of this got started. And now you're trying to back away from it? Like, I didn't say all of that. I didn't mean to break up her marriage. Yes, you did. You wanted to break up the marriage and you wanted to be the new Monique. <laughs> so ridiculous. It is. You can't trust people. You cannot trust people, okay? You just can't. Now let's talk about... um. Candace Dillard, who is another person on social media. Social media is the best thing that was ever invented for my type of business. I love every single moment of it because people just lose their minds. They say anything on social media. Okay, so someone sent this uh, message to Candace, and it's a conversation that someone's having, and it looks like it's from someone else's post. Basically, they're saying they don't understand why Monique hit Candace, because she should have been hitting Gigi because Gigi was the one that started all the rumors. And basically, Candace backed it up and said, looks like facts. <laughs> Listen, you know why Candace is saying this, people? Well, first of all, maybe the um, person who wrote this has the point. Gigi did start all of this. She really, really did. But don't forget, Candace, you played your part too. And you also was up in Monique's face asking her to drag you, okay? Now, if you're a Monique fan like I am, I would say Candace begged for the, I would call it a beat down. I don't want to be rude. Begged for the altercation. There we go. She begged for it. But then again, this person has a point. It wasn't all Candace. So you know what that means? Monique, you have more people to beat up. <laughs> you got to find that damn Gigi and beat her down because she started all of this. Yes, Giselle participated. Yes, Robin did. Yes, Candace did. But at the end of the day, your true enemy is GG and maybe you should have just walked away from the fight but you know when someone's up in my face talking about what you gonna do what you gonna do drag me I understand the moment that she, Monique has but at the end of the day you need to be talking about Gigi and maybe she will we haven't seen part two and part three yet and Candace can you just stay off the internet until we finish watching the other parts of the reunion okay I don't need you in here pleading your case talking about how wrong you were done 
because we all know it's just an act. Your true goal is to create Monique to be this vicious character that you can't feel, film with because you feel unsafe when she's around. Because we all know at the end of the day, you, Robin, Giselle, you guys are, want her fired. That is so wrong. That is so, so wrong. Or at least that's how I feel about the situation because I'm a Monique fan. And Candace fans probably feel different. They probably feel like no matter what, Monique should have never put her hands on her. And maybe they have a point there too. Let's talk about it down in the comment section. We got a lot to talk about in the comment section. Let's talk about, do you guys think that Gigi is behind this posting? Do you guys believe the rumors that Pastor Jamal was asked to step down? And do you feel like that Candace is getting the blame for something that was a group effort? Also, if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. It does wonders for my video. If you haven't already subscribed and hit the notification bell, go ahead and do that. I'll meet you guys in the comments section. Bye for now.